Alright guys, I think today I have some good news for you and that is Capture 112. Capture 112 is released today with some new features of course. So this video is going to be a what's new in Capture 112 video. First of all, as a Fuji user myself and I know a lot of you follow my YouTube channel are Fuji users. The most important uh, the most important feature in Capture 112 is definitely the film simulations. The film simulations are added in Capture 112. Now you can go to base characteristics tool and then you can click on curve drop down menu and then you can select a film simulation there. I actually compared the film simulations in Capture One to the actual film simulations produced by my Fuji X-T2 and I found that they work pretty good and I actually did a separate video talking about comparing the film simulations. So that video will be available later. Now you can download the software and you can, uh, you can try the film simulations for yourself. Now let's talk about what else is new in Capture 112. First of all, it has a new user interface and it has a new menu system. The new user interface is a super flat design and overall it gives Capture 112 a modern look. And also uh, they reorganized and they regrouped a lot of stuff for easier discovery. So hopefully the new Capture 112 is going to make the menu system is going to make things a lot more easier, a lot more intuitive for new users. And on top of that, they also added a new keyboard shortcut manager. And now you can customize keyboard shortcuts for over 500 commands in Capture 112. The keyboard shortcut manager is under edit menu and then edit keyboard shortcuts. It is supposed to be very easy to search, very easy to find and change and update and speed up your workflow in Capture 112. Now let's talk about some new features related to editing your photos. Number one is Linear Gradient Mask Tool. In Capture 11, it already has a gradient mask tool. And once you draw a mask, if you are not happy with the mask, you have to redraw the mask. So that's, very, that's not very convenient. In Capture 112, now you can edit your mask. You can update it, you can change it, you can rotate it, you can move it around. So overall, making the tool more flexible to use. Number two is Radio Gradient Mask Tool. It's a new feature in Capture 112, which doesn't exist in any Capture 1 version before. It allows you to draw a circle and you can choose whatever inside the circle or whatever outside the circle to be selected. And you can move the circle around, you can update the size, you can rotate the circle, you can update, you can change the feather. It works very similar to the radio gradient tool in Lightroom. Number three is Luma Range Masking and it is used for targeting a specific range of luminosity values. Now you can use this tool to target your shadow, your midtone, or your high Highlight. It does work with the linear gradient tool, the radial gradient tool, and the any regular masks. The next new feature is that Capture 112 introduced a new plugin platforms, which means developers can now jump in and create third-party plugins for Capture 112. Also, there are some new cameras supported in Capture 112, Nikon Z7 and Z6, or Z7, Z6, depending on where you live. I don't know, it seems Nikon always has some ambiguous pronunciation, like Nikon versus Nikon, Nikon, Z7 versus Z7. Anyway, and the Canon EOS R, Canon EOS M50 are also supported in Capture 112 now. All right guys, check out the links in the description below to download the Capture 112. And as always, you can use the coupon code AMBCAI to save some money. The coupon code works for bundles, full license upgrades, styles, and prepaid annual subscription plans. Also, if you bought a Capture 111 license after November 1st, you get a free upgrade to Capture 112. All right guys, I hope you enjoy Capture 112. And if you like this video, please click on the thumbs up button below. And if you're the first time on my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. All right, guys, that's it from me today. The other separate video comparing film simulations will be available very soon. So yeah, I guess I will see you soon.